and welcome to the Football History Boys on YouTube. Now over the next few weeks we're going to be uploading some react videos to some of football's most amazing matches going throughout its history from its earliest days to its modern day status. We're going to start off with what many believe to be the game of the century as Hungary played against England at Wembley in 1953. An incredible match watched by over 100,000 people. England going into the game had never been beaten by a team outside of the British Isles and Hungary were an emerging side after the Second World War. They got three years unbeaten by the time they met England in 1953 and had won an Olympic gold medal the previous year. So without further ado, let's get started and see what all the fuss is about. take the field with their Hungarian opponents at Wembley. A hundred thousand people put up the house full notice as the visitors recognised as the best side in Europe immediately people. swing to the attack. The first thing to note is that the commentator then just said that the side they're playing against, or the Hungarian side, are recognised as the best side in Europe. Now, often when we look at this game uh, through historians or, or whoever, it's often made out that England knew nothing about Hungary, that Hungary were an alien entity. However, as shown by the commentator here, Hungary were well known. They were recognised as the best side in Europe. Their exploits in the Olympics the previous year wouldn't have gone unnoticed. And the fact they hadn't been beaten in three years is is massive, really. Um, so 100,000 people turn up at the game. They clearly think there's a game to be watched here. This could be a classic. And they weren't wrong. Hidi Kuti receives and he bangs it past Merrick for a goal. Hungary one up in the first 45 seconds. 45 seconds, pretty fast. England come back fighting. Alf Ramsey has it. He draws the defence before flicking it to Matthews on the wing. The little wizard whips it into the centre where Mortensen gives Grosix a spot of work. The best cross. What's interesting there though is right back Alf Ramsey uh, later becomes England manager who wins the World Cup with them in 1966. And the player who plays the ball to, Stanley Matthews, was widely recognised at this time as one of the world's greatest players. Before the uh, Second World War, he had been, without doubt, British football's finest player. His the peak of his career was kind of taken away from him by the war, but he appeared in numerous wartime friendlies and really boosted his celebrity in terms of football. Now, only a few months before this game was played, he had won his first ever FA Cup, FA Cup final at the age of 38 for Blackpool against Bolton. Uh, it's famously called the Matthews final now because he set up two of the goals in the game, including the 92nd minute winner from Bill Perry to win the game and the cup. Finally, the player who gives a challenge to uh, the goalkeeper Grosius is Stan Mortensen. Now, Stan Mortensen was recognised as one of the game's great strikers at the time. He has got a hat-trick in the Matthews final, so he's a player not to, be, uh, not to be pushed aside. So this England team is a good side, but what happens next is truly amazing. Hungary's reserve players watch Mortensen take the initiative again. Mortensen to Jackie Sewell, and as cool as they come, he bangs it into the visitor's net for the equaliser. You finish? But don't make any mistake, these Hungarians didn't win the Olympics final or their second to none reputation for nothing. There we go, winning go the Olympic final with some well of the most there. perfect teamwork ever seen on the green grass of Wembley. Ooh, nice work. Puskas goes down to Johnson's tackle, but the Hungarian captain slips it over to Hidikuti, oh. who shakes the net with goal number two. What a finish. Now Hungary are really in their stride. Puskas, with superb control, crashes in yet another. 3-1 to the visitors. Unbelievable goal. Now, that goal is probably the one that this game is remembered for the most. Is Frank Puskas, who went on to have an incredible record for Hungary. I think he's uh, scored 84 goals in 85 games. He's a well-known player, Real Madrid legend as well. That goal is the goal which really summed up the game. you got England, you got Billy Wright, one of the best centre-backs in the world, playing over 100 times for England being sent away by an amazing piece of skill by Pushkash. He drags the ball back and thumps it home into the goal. Now, 
Puskas's footwork is, is reminiscent of you know Messi now. So England seeing this at the time, they were quite surprised that you know things like drag backs weren't that common. So him to sort of done that was uh, was quite amazing. And um, Billy right after the game would would go on and say like this Hungarian side were from another planet. They are absolutely amazing. Goalie Grasics and his teammates have hardly stopped rejoicing when Basic takes a free kick and Puskas finishes the job. 4-1 now. Been lucky there, deflection. Grasics continues his victory celebrations. It certainly looks all over for the Englishman. But now Sewell takes command, teaming up with Maestro Matthews. Rob's header sends Grasics sprawling to save. That's the stuff to raise That's English hopes. But it's Stan Mortensen's low drive that chalks up another one on England's Good account. Finish, you Stan Mortensen scoring the goal. 2-4 it stays up to half time, but that's not good enough for Hungary. Centre half Laurent is after it. Good pressing, pressing football. Laurent returns Wasn't to the centre. The Puskas has it. Puskas to Coxis, whose header hits the post. From the wing, Bosic races in and cracks home Hungary's fifth goal. But the massacre oh, isn't over. Strike. Hidikute, 25 yards out. Two, Unbelievable. Makes it a hat trick. Hidiguti already scored two, makes it a hat trick. Now he's an incredible player. When we think of the Hungarian side of the 1950s, you've got Puskas, Kosius, Shibor. These are the sort of three players you really think about. But Hidiguti is probably the most important player in the side. He was a, the original false number nine. So before you know Messi for Barcelona or Firmino for Liverpool, he was. The number nine player who would drop back deep to get the ball, and by doing that, would allow Puskas and uh, Koshis to get inside, uh, get around the back. So, what he used to do is he draw in, draw out the defenders, the English centre backs, and it's these were tactics which hadn't really been seen before. Often, the number nine was the big focal point, and you lump the ball long towards number nine, and he'd flick it on or whatever. But now. This number nine is dropping back. He's actually more of a ball playing uh, forward. He's almost playing like a number 10, but with number nine in his back. So quite quite incredible. And he gets a hat-trick here. So it really does show that it works. And, you know, Gustav Sebes, who was a manager, his ideas are really coming to fruition. And, and this Hungarian side is pretty incredible. 6-2 up at, the, at this moment. England absolutely shell-shocked. England, down but not out, come back to try and crack Hungary's Iron Curtain defence. Leading the attack is human dynamo Stan Mortensen. But Grosics brings him down. The Dutch referee won't stand for rugby tactics, so it's a penalty to England. Now Bramley takes it. And it's in the net! Tame, tamely taken, how it stays but well scored. By six goals to three, Hungary, the most brilliant team ever to visit Britain, shatter the unbeaten home record England has held in 90 years of football. There we go. The best team the people had ever seen play at Wembley shattered a 90-year record. That is incredible when you think about it now. Of course, England's earliest days, they would have only been playing against Scotland, um, Wales and so on. But they did eventually open it up to play against teams from outside of the British Isles and they would still beat them. They would still never lose. However, this Hungarian side has turned up playing this beautiful football. He said earlier in the video they had some of the most amazing pieces of teamwork that they'd ever seen on Wembley. And they absolutely smashed England 6-3 and it's so nice to see at the end there. You see Billy Wright walking off the pitch smiling i think he's even thinking wow this side is amazing i can't believe what i've just played against he's stunned they knew how good the hungarians were but they don't think they think they don't think they thought they were this good and could beat england this comprehensively in england so absolutely incredible uh really good video as well it's from british pathway so you can check out the link for that in the description below and before you leave, it would be amazing if you could check out our book, Football's 50 Most Important Moments. We've got 50 moments in there, including England vs. Hungary in 1953. Uh, so it would be fantastic if you could give that a buy or check it out. You can get it in all your good, um, all your good shops. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much for watching. 
Links will be in the description below. Until next time, thank you.